Welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Learning Unix with FreeBSD, the 2021 edition. Episode 2, Logging In and Logging Out. Um, today we're going to do this, it's going to go very quickly, a whirlwind tour of logging in, logging out, and um, shutting the system down gracefully. So to start the system, we click on VirtualBox, then we click Start with our FreeBSD instance selected. It fires up a new window. It pulls the boot manager up. We don't wait, we just hit enter. It shows a bunch of kernel messages and configures the network and sets the time and a bunch of other stuff. And then it prompts us to log in with a login prompt. That's all there is to booting up. Give it a sec, it'll take just a second, bring us to here, and then it will prompt us to log in. There we go. So now it asks us to log in. What are we going to log in as? Well, we have our regular user account that we set up when we did the install. So we type that and the password that we gave it. Once we do that, it gives us a welcome message, shows us a hint, and tells us that we're logged in as, in this case, WSIN, that's me, at Aster, that's this machine, and that we're in the, we're in the tilde directory. The tilde directory is shorthand for your home directory. So if we echo tilde, it shows us, hey, that's home WSIN. And if I want to see what directory I'm currently in, uh, it's going to be the same in this case. All right, so we've logged in. How about logging out? Two ways to do it. One way is to type the word exit there. That brings us back to the login prompt. We can log back in. And the other way is to type control and the character D, so control D. Um, it, you actually press the lowercase D even though it says lowercase. But it logs you out. So we would log back in one more time. And we'll shut the system down. Now to shut the system down, there's a command called shutdown. We type man and shut down. It shows us the man page. It shows us that there's a um, kind of a pseudonym for shutdown called power off, which just is basically the same as typing shutdown dash p. But we can. There's different kinds of shutdown. There's c, which is the power cycle turned off and then back on. Um, h, which is halt. P, which is power off the system. R for reboot, and I don't remember what K is. K is for kick everybody off. Okay, so we, we probably won't be using K much. Um, and then uh, you specify a time or a time difference and a warning message. So ideally you'd think, okay, well, how does that translate? It translates to shutdown dash P for power off plus some number of seconds, so we'll give it 10 seconds. And then we give it a message. Um, going down for maintenance. Right. And it won't let me do that as a regular user for good reason, because if I'm logged in as a regular user, then I don't want to be shutting other people off. If they're on the system, I don't be shutting them down. We have to become the root user. There's two ways to do that, or at least two ways that are reasonable. One is to exit the shell and log back in as root with the root password. The other way, which is probably better, is log in as a regular user and then type su dash which will become the super user and log in. So we're going to su dash and then we type the password and enter. And this time it displays a little more lengthy uh, message. Uh, this one here that has the time and what, what process and then uh, who I am, who's becoming a root, on what terminal. And then, but then it tells me the bottom line, which is I'm logged in as root and I'm on the machine called Aster and I'm in tilde. This tilde is different from the other tilde. This one is related to the root, and I should be in that directory. So WD shows root. So now I should be able to type that shutdown command, because I'm root. Shutdown dash P uh, plus five seconds, or 10 seconds, right? And then going down, and then, whoops, I'm not typing down for main tenants. And then it starts a countdown, and 10 seconds from now, or eight seconds from now, it will restart, it'll, re it'll shut down the system. Here it goes. Stops all the services that are running, uh, flushes the file system, and then shuts it down. And this window goes away, and we're done. 
That's it. Thanks for watching.